This real race car down. Oh man. I'm a new shit, the entrepreneur shit from the ghetto streets to the executive suite. Man, come Took on. Man. Up all that rag that hoe, get around east where it's snow, <laughs> man. But yeah, this joint right here. Nice. Oh my god, I'm on 60. Six. 300 bill. Coming for y'all soon. Damn, P Glow, you did that? What's up you guys man, it's your boy Real to Real man, back in here with another video, hey man, say man, hey man, it's your boy man Real to Real, y'all already know what it is man, you know what I'm saying, um, just want to say happy thanksgiving to everybody out there i know this is the actual day but i already posted a video for today for thanksgiving but i just want to re uh say that again i appreciate everybody that said happy thanksgiving um i couldn't get back to everybody because i was you know with the family so but i'm headed up here um to one of my homeboy cribs from arkansas you know what i'm saying um uh he got one of the guys came in the city today um and he trying to sell a vehicle man so we finna go over here and uh put the vehicle on the channel you know what i'm saying just in case anybody out there you know wanna you know what i'm saying buy it so uh we finna go over here record it put it out there and uh hey yeah if you guys interested or whatever hit me in a dm or um he might got a number you can contact or something so um and i, I sent him I send you straight to him. You know, I ain't trying to get no cut. I don't want no cut. I ain't no middleman and type nigga. I don't do all that type stuff. If somebody's selling something, I want them to get that sale. I ain't finna raise the price so I can put something in my pocket. I ain't tripping. So, um, I don't do that middleman shit. <laughs> so, I ain't, I ain't got no consignment cars or no shit like that. Like, whatever these four prices is, that's their price. And, um, I ain't got nothing to do with it, or nothing to do with the cost of it, the price, nothing, so, um, but yeah, we finna head over here, do that, um, I had, I had some stuff I had to do today, but since it's Thanksgiving, I really can't do it, and I be, I literally forgot that Thursday was gonna be, <laughs> I be forgetting y'all, like, I'm not really into the holidays like that, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, like, it's just a, ordinary day to me my birthdays be ordinary days but i do celebrate them though. i celebrate my birthdays you know what i'm saying but um holidays and stuff man they be just ordinary days to me so um i have to get out and grind just like i'm doing right now you know so that's just what it is so uh, i'm gonna catch you guys once i get over here and uh yeah man see if we can get y'all some good content today all right man peace Today's video is brought to you guys sponsored by Yang Tu. Yes, sir. So what they do, they actually produce and make tire inflators. Um, so, you know, you're on the side of the road or you catching a flat or you at home, you by yourself, you don't have no big air pump. This is actually a portable air pump that you can have in your vehicle at all times or switch throughout each vehicle as you get in them, you know, move from one vehicle to another. Only thing you gotta do, grab it, you know, take it out, put it in another one. So uh, we're gonna do an unboxing today to show you guys. I have it right here. And if you guys wanna purchase you one, the link will be in the description of this video. So uh, let's unbox this thing. First of all, once you unbox it, you will see this. Um, it's just literally directions on how to use it. You got the English version and you got the Chinese version. So uh, yeah, open this thing up. See how this thing is well packaged. Definitely well packaged. 
pour that thing out, take it up out the box, put the box right there. You see, you have it right here. You ain't too. Pack as well. Unzip that thing. Oh, oh, definitely got a package right. Look at that. So one, it won't break or anything like that. Definitely like the compact design of it. As you guys see, this the actual pump itself. Take it out the wrapper. Bust me out the wrapper. I've been acting brand new. <laughs> but yeah. As y'all see, look how that thing come. It do got plastic on it. I'm not going to take the plastic off because I like leaving my plastic on. On most of the stuff that I use. Just want to make sure y'all see that thing clear. It has the, the volume, everything. How much air pressure you want to put in. Just like those air pumps that be at the gas station that you just press whatever uh, number that you want it to go to. And that's where it go to and that's where it stops at. So that's just how this one is. Bust open the other side and you got all your cables to make it work and function and um, do what everything it needs to be done. You feel me? Got that part that goes for the air pump. It goes on the side right here, as you guys see. So these this joint do go on and off. It do go on and off. So um, it don't have to be plugged in at all times. You just undo that, stick it on here. Stick it on the side right here, through there. Put it all the way in. Snap it down. Now it's locked. And you already know, this go on your tire. So then you got the outlet. This goes in your cigarette lighter. It plugs in on the opposite side. And it, this goes in your cigarette lighter port. You do have the one that goes into the wall. Just in case you're at home, you can have the this one. But if you're out on the road, you know, you use this one. And they do have the extra ones in here in case you're trying to air up a football, basketball, um, stuff like that. So they do have that in here also. We're in the track hawk right now. We're going to crank up the track hawk. Oh, track hawk, baby. Yes, sir, ski. And we're going to plug it in. So you turn on the power power is this button right here you just click it in and it should come on just like that PSI see you control how much air pressure you want in it me I usually do 45 pounds in each wheel so uh, let's give it a test y'all already know when y'all dealing with aftermarket wheels no matter what brand they is they three piece wheels you always gonna have a leaking problem. Lock it in. See, already at 45, just that fast. So that's easy as it gets. Once you set it, you plug it up, automatically start going in and you at the right pounds of pressure so shout out to yang 2 again make sure you guys need you one make sure you guys hit that link in my description right now and make sure you guys purchase you one today and it's just simple as that you definitely need one of these when you're out there traveling and you by yourself or if you at home and you're simply by yourself and you don't have a way to get to the gas station to get to a air pump you always have one on hand portable ready to go and uh, yeah, let's get back into the video. Peace. All right, y'all, man. We done made it over here with my dog Dre, man. Hell Town's fine. It's one of them ones. You know what I'm saying? Man, so, man, what we got here, man? I told you I had to come in person. We had to come in person, man. Let me show you guys what my boys know cooking up. This real race car, though, right? Yeah. This real race car, though. Not, not really. Sound like uh, I need nah, it's cold. Sun, yeah. 
It's cold out here. And then you know gas. Sometimes, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When the gas get low, yeah. it's it gonna do that. What's up with? Man, chilling, man. Y'all doing all right? Everything good, man. Oh, yeah, man. Shaking and baking, moving and grooving, my boy. Man. Yeah, that ready. And that joint, the, the T top, too. Yeah, he ready. The way he wanted for it. Shit, he want like 23 for that bitch. 23? What the motor look like? You know, you got, you know, you got to show everything, man. Yeah, yeah, and then they got to know how to contact. Gotta put his Instagram, everything. What, what's the Instagram? What's the Instagram? Yeah. yeah. Instagram shit, I ain't got no more. <laughs> I ain't got no. Golly, what the hell y'all got there, boy? Yeah, you know. I, I mean, I just told him to hit me up, you know, and then, you know, I, I know how to reach y'all, so. Oh yeah, he LS power for real. What well, um, what side motor? Straight him. Damn, that bitch got nitrous and everything on this mom. Yeah, he got the knobs on that. Yeah, he got everything on that. I see what he got going. Shit, the headers. See all this shit. Yeah, he, he need to come and talk about it. He want. He's trying to get rid of. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You right. Yeah, you definitely got it. Hey. Hey man. What's up, baby? Man, you just came and dropped him off and ain't over here to talk about it. No nothing. Hey, hey, you know I had to come on back. I ain't gonna lie. I yeah. See what they gonna do and see how many people gonna hit me up about it. Okay. What what size motor it is though? That's a three up in there. Oh, LS3? Yeah, I just got it bowed over and shit. Oh, so a rebuilt motor and everything, cam, yeah, yeah, all it that. Ain't three, it ain't 300 miles on that motherfucker. Oh, for real? Yeah, it ain't even been on the street. Damn. Uh, I just tracked that bitch and, and put it up. Yeah, I see it got the nitrous and everything on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Where the bottles at? In the trunk? The bottle. Uh huh. Yeah. They in the trunk? Yeah. Or oh, that's where they go? That's where they go. It ain't in there, though. Okay. Yeah, man. Shit, the paint even straight on it. Yeah, I see it got a big hood scoop on this joint. But I mean, this is a race car, you know, for what, what people trying to do. Anything done to the rear end? Anything. <laughs> hey, you know, I got to let them know, man. That shit, when you throw out them type numbers, they got to know everything. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, he ran through all 4L80? Okay, 4L80, and then the rear end, what, what size gears you got in the rear end? Right now, I just got that bitch too. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I just ran through that motherfucker. But shit, I just... You ain't got no Instagram or no Facebook they can hit you? You ain't got no Instagram or Facebook? I, I know, shit. You know, that's how I was, shit. I had to do it, though. You know how to get in touch with me? Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's all good. I have to hit me up. But they gonna have so many questions, shit. I ain't gonna be able to answer. I'm gonna tell you that now. You, that's how they do, shit. For real. Yeah, for real. Hell yeah. Hey, what look, you on down now? Look, look, look what this nigga riding in. Shit. <laughs> look at him. Yeah, but man, y'all, we outside, man. Shout out to my guys, them from the hometown, man. I don't put that shit out there. Talk that shit, man. Sure. Come on, man. What you say? Maybe we'll get them bands out there. <laughs> you ain't got to do all that, man. It's all good. Yeah, hey. They know how we hey, coming down that way. Shit. 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 For coming. real, for real. Ain't nothing to be said, man. You know what I'm saying? They know I ain't hanging around nobody unless they got something anyway. <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah, shit. Sure. For so, sure, for so. Sure. My dog came in to pull it up in this thing, in the outer thing. 
Man, all you know I had to time. put you on there while you beside hey, the ride. You man. feel me? Appreciate the love. Man, bro. come on, man. Love, and my bro. boy been rapping, been doing this whole nine yards. You know what I'm saying? A whole lot of extracurricular stuff going on. Come man. on, man. From entrepreneurship to entrepreneurship, from the ghetto streets to the executive suite. Man, come Some on. Gas man. up all that rag that hoe, get around East West Snow, <laughs> man. Around West Coast, man. Central Arkansas, man. My hoe do the most. Man. Come on, man. Get come on, serious, man. man. Hey, what's your Instagram, yeah, too, my boy? Hey, man. It came in 501, man. Real talk. Y'all go check me out on YouTube. Every Everywhere, man, it's real. Shout out real to real, man. Keep Come on, doing man. Your thing, man. And join them raffles. I'm gonna win a whip oh, soon. Oh yeah, I got the hair going now. Soon. You know what I'm saying? Mean it. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna win one soon, bro. <laughs> you think I'm bullshit? No, I don't think you bullshit. See, I want to see somebody from the town get one. Oh, yeah, I'm joining them. Yeah. Time. I'm like, man, ain't nothing but a dollar. Come on now. Like, Come on. Man. And you know, I do them, them crazy sales nah, anyway, so, real. you know, hey, I don't be tripping. Hey, you been going crazy, though, bro. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. Just coming from where we come from, bro, to see, man, niggas be successful, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of people don't make it, bro. You Nigga, a lot of us don't make it, but all of them made it out of it. You know what I'm saying? No matter real. what niggas went through, you know what I'm saying, back then, we nah, all here to live, you know what I'm saying, talk about this shit now. Real and to get more, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? And no nigga from the town get left behind no more. It's too many of us making it out. You feel me? So, nigga, that's why I'm saying I'm going back down there. I'm doing a whole documentary. You know what I'm saying? Man, that's finna be hard. Yeah, so I want to put everybody in that shit. I'm trying to get the whole town in. I don't give a fuck if niggas I done beef with from long time. Nigga, I want to put you on. I don't give a fuck, nigga. Man, we so grown now. It's like, man. You feel me? That shit, yeah. that, that man, that was fools that was, and shit. Yeah, yeah exactly. You feel me? Exactly. If, if a nigga for real right now still trying to get some money, they gonna understand man, come what's on, up. Man. You see what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, and, and gonna, what a nigga trying to do for the on, city. Man. So. Yeah, yeah, they gonna see, yeah. man. Like, man, yeah, nigga on some ball shit, bro. And ain't none of that. You feel me, yeah. man? And that's what's crazy, bro. Like, you know, you think about everybody where we come from. For yeah, real, though, exactly. Man. You know what I'm saying? Niggas that we grew up with, man. I can count on but, my but head. All right. I, but all I head on right right now, I can't right, say so. that. Like, nigga, everybody that you know, made it to see past that 21, that 25 stage, Nigga, all of us doing our thing. Everybody nah, getting to talk. it. Real shit. Cause real nigga, it, it, nigga, I be on Instagram and I be scrolling. And I be like, damn, bro, man. them really doing it and living down nah, that bitch now. Real. And I'm like, damn, that's how it should have been in the first place. Fact. You know what I'm saying? Fact. More nigga get money, ain't no ain't too much hating, ain't too much bullshit going on, you Fact. know. So real that's just how it is, man. But yeah, shout out to my nigga, man. I wish cool, you had man. the brothers man. around, man. Talk, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully that my brother pull up in a minute, man. He down here. My brother. Oh, dog, for real? Yeah, dog down. I heard, man, he, he'll probably pull up in a minute. But it's good, though, bro. Like I say, man, it's all love, man. We yeah, for real, man. Going, Hell man. town forever. Man, you know what I'm saying? Man, tap in. Come on, man. Real, man. Come tap on. in or tap out. Come on, man. We damn safe in the tap out on them. <laughs> That's right, my boy Dre, man. Come on, man. I'ma keep putting Dre on here, cause my fucking don't really be knowing. This used to be one of the hooping niggas in the city that used to make me. Hey, this nigga used to make me hoop. Them niggas be like, bro, you buff it, man. You gotta come and hoop, man. Hey, no, man. No, come on, you gotta hoop today. I was like, bro, I'm tired, man. <laughs> that nigga used to make, bro. Anytime, man, this nigga on the team together, nigga, we not losing. It's over. Come on, man. All day. Yo, that nigga, yo, height. He boy. Oh, Come on, man. That nigga, that nigga, yeah, on God, you snatching them hoes though. Yeah, I just, bro, you, 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 huh? you break the camera out and just start just going. Man, hard. bro, all, all honesty, bro, it's like we all had this shit in us when we was down there. Niggas just didn't know how to use what they got to get what they needed Bad. to get. You know what I'm saying? Bad. So I feel like, you know what I'm saying, the camera. It just really put a start on it. You know, I, I dealt with yeah. all my cases and all that shit. I ran through that shit. I'm like, okay, now it's time to really just put on. You know what I'm saying? Because really, when we down there, we so cautious to put our life on camera like that. So I had to get away just to start doing that. You feel me? So now I can go back and then I can pick niggas up that, you know what I'm saying, still in that lifestyle. and You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and we can bring some extra more, you know, extra to the community. You know what I'm saying? Niggas starting clothing lines, clothing brands. Niggas Love. rapping. It's Man. like, damn, you know, bankrolling them ain't the only ones gonna make it out the town. You know hey, what I'm saying? You still here that weekend. My boy White gonna be. Oh, no, I'm here. Oh, White here. gonna be in town like seven. Nigga, I live here, so, you know, I ain't going I nowhere. You stay here? I've been here eight years. Oh, I'm here too now, then. We're gonna have to tap in.
Oh yeah, I've been here eight years, man. You know, I'm in the city. What you mean? No, he was here. Yeah, he no, nah, you know, no, nah, I was in Atlanta. I was then saying, I went to I went I to uh, Nashville for three I, years. I be thinking he down there in Florida. That's no, because I be traveling. I, I travel every month, so I'm I'm I live here, but I'm everywhere though. That's, that's what's up. Yeah, you know, I've been in Chicago a lot, yeah. so. You know, that's like second home for me right okay, now. Okay. In Chicago, yeah, I'm supposed to be back up there this month, but I'm probably gonna wait to December. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My partner is supposed to be going back up there to give away uh, his super stock, so I'll probably go up there, you know what I'm saying, get some little when content the up there. Show? Uh, well, you know, Florida Class is just passed, so yeah. shit. Um, you was at Rick Ross, wasn't Yeah, I was at Rick Ross. Yeah, I was in up. front of his house. Yeah, I saw you. Yeah, all of them came and chopped it up with me, everything. Yeah, so, hard. yeah, hard. It, it, it's love with, with celebrities, bro, because really, we be thinking they they non-human. Yeah. And that's how people be looking at me. Like, they be like, damn, bro, I ain't even know you was just a regular person. I be telling motherfuckers that's just like with the celebrities. Mm -hmm. Rick Ross and them regular as fuck, bro. Real talk. Them niggas act just like us. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Two chain act just like us. Yeah. Lil Baby and them. All yeah. everybody act just like us. Niggas just came up and got some bread. That's all it is, bro. So ain't you can't tell me we can't do this shit. Nah, for you real. You know what I'm saying? For real. Come on, man. Don't fake. <laughs> Don't fake. But yeah, man, make sure y'all go hit my guy hey, up, man, man on Instagram in, before man. my battery go dead, cause y'all know man. I be on it. Keep me 501, man. Already, man. Stay up and keep that yeah. rapping going. Yes, Come on, man. The next day. All right, y'all, man. Checking back in, man. It's a whole nother day. I ain't gonna lie, your boy been having that drip drip on. I ain't gonna count to y'all, bro. Uh, I've been wearing a lot of the uh, oversized tees lately. They just look so crazy with the stacked jeans and stuff. It's like, I ain't gonna cap to you. Like, that shit, that shit fire. It make you feel good, too. I ain't gonna cap to you. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I'm definitely gonna have oversized shirts and stuff coming out once I do my merch and my clothing brand. So. Uh, Y'all stay tuned. I got a lot of stuff coming up with that. And um, we in the track off today. I was, man, I really overslept. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. And Thanksgiving food sat on me. I woke up early, ate some more, then went right back to sleep, man. And now it's down there close to the end of the daylight time, really. So uh, I'm gonna try to do what I can do and uh, get you guys some footage. but. Man, no lie, I actually just, I've been feeling the weather though, like, been 60 some degrees, like, feeling good though, I ain't gonna lie. Hold on, that's heat on, oh, heck you know. Uh-uh, we ain't having that. No Sursky, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> man, I ain't talked to my dog Sugar Man in a minute, man. I'm gonna have to hit my dog Sugar Man up, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't heard my nigga voice in a minute, man. I don't know why I just thought about him. Just <laughs> I, little dingy scale came up to my head, <laughs> bro. That's crazy, man. I ain't gonna cap to you. Oh, uh, but yeah. Damn, man. I left my lip chap at home again. Golly, it ain't the right weather to have no chappy chappy lips. You feel me? No, Sersky. Damn, I should have went by the barber. I should have took my ass by the barber, man. Oh, it don't matter. It's all good. Um, I probably hit him up, get his number. Uh, hit him up today. I'm gonna see. But um, dang, battery going dead. I got five batteries up in this middle console. I hope one of them work too. Man, and boy, boy, people be talking about boy them damn. Track hawks don't be moving when they be on, on wheels. Boy, I'm on sixes and boy be. Boy. Boy, I be getting up through there, boy. Stop playing, boy. Barely had my foot on the gas, boy. This gonna be barking and moving. Man, supposed to be tripping, man. That all wheel drive a month, boy. I'm telling you, ain't nothing like it. That all wheel drive, man, stop playing with it. I need a damn car wash. I ain't even gonna cap to y'all. I ain't got this truck washed since I had it. <laughs> I know, bro, don't judge me, bro. Do not judge me, bro. It is what it is, bro. I ain't had it washed since I got this truck, man. But you know, it, 
the day gonna come and we gotta drop it off to get painted and everything like that. I ain't gonna lie, I'm really just waiting on my 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 hood, bro. Like that's slowing me down, like for real. I need to hit bro up today and see what's the status on it. I literally forgot about my hood. It's like, man, you told me two weeks, bro. It's been down there almost a month now. Dang, bro. It's like, you can't take people word for nothing no more. But, I mean, I ain't tripping. But my wheel's supposed to be ready within two, three weeks. Shit, it's five weeks in right now. So, it's like, shit, I don't... Bro, I ain't put my trust into nobody but me. <laughs> no more put my trust into people, though. But at the end of the day, man, I, I, I appreciate um, the companies that I do be handling business with because, you know, I don't give people no problems, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't be getting on their nerves. I don't be phoning out them all day, all night. Stuff like that, bro. So, you know... I, I, I respect a lot of companies, you know, when it comes to time frames, but it's like, I when you say it's gonna be ready, hey, kinda be there or around that mark, you know what I'm saying? It can go over a week or two, I ain't tripping. But man, when it start going over longer than that, it's like, what's the point? It's like, I can't even, I give myself enough time on my giveaways most of the time, bro. And that's what I be telling folks, like, it don't be on me, bro. Like, it, it be on them, because I have to have my wheels and stuff first so my ideas can come to life. You know what I'm saying? So my creativity can come in. So if I ain't got my wheels, I can't have my creativity. That's why I got my wheels first on my track off. Because I already know what I want to do now. I know the color I'm going. I know everything. I'm still indecisive on the color, but I am. I still know the color I'm going. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. So, it's just like, hell, get in my hood. Shit. Calm down, calm down, car. I see y'all, man. Y'all be ready to get over on tomorrow. What? Stop playing with it. Stop playing with him. Fuck you mean? It's Sursky. Man, let me hit up my dog sugar man, man. Three hours later. Dang, son. I pulled up to the dealership. Y'all know it get dark so quick. I see this wide body joint over here. In that black and white, man. That kind of make me... I don't know, man. It be kind of giving me little ideas and everything. I don't know. For some reason, I like that white and black combination right there. That white and black combination kind of cold. No lie. Got the same wheels. I got the same wheels on mine. I think they're the same one. Yeah. Damn, that white and black combination. Like that. With the white hood, white top, and what's it called? I don't know, man. What y'all think about me going color match white over the whole car? Mm hmm. Sometimes I hate kind of matching up the whites because I feel like the whites be off a little bit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We in big uh, chicken talk, man. Big chicken talk today. Sixes, forges on there. Y'all see what's going on. Stop playing with me. But yeah, this joint right here. Nice. Oh my God, I'm on 66. Oh, that's a new one? Oh, no, it's used too. It's still used. Got 9,000 miles on it. Got 9,000 miles on it. But definitely nice. Got the sunroof and everything on it. Definitely. Oh, oh. Check out that drip, though. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Hold on. Check out that drip, though. We do got that drip on. Stop playing with him. I ain't gonna cap to you. Big drip on deck. Cause I'm sorry, y'all. But yeah. I don't know. This combination kind of cold. I ain't gonna lie, man. Just by seeing it, I just had to stop. I just had to stop. So, 
Damn, son. Where'd you find this? At Classic Dodge. You feel me? Y'all see all this stuff around? Got plenty. These V6s and stuff right here. I still like that purple, man. That purple is one of the hardest colors they came out with to this day, man. I ain't gonna lie. That purple is so nasty. That purple, the smoke show, and the uh, destroy your grade. But the smoke show harder than destroy your grade to me. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, man. I do like this combination with the black stripes with the white. I do like that combination, man. I do like that combination. But my my boy did say he could match up my white easily if he wrapped the hood, the, the roof and everything in white. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. We got we got so many ideas, bro, for the Hellcat build. Um, I just need my wheels. I gotta make sure this color match right. I got to, bro. That's why y'all ain't been seeing me touch it. And then I don't want to go doing stuff to the inside and then it don't match up right. Like, y'all got to understand me. Like, bro, I got to make sure everything is up to my standards. Like, yeah, I can go get the star ceiling and stuff. I'm going to just go ahead and probably go get the star ceiling and everything done. But I also want the star ceiling done in my track hog. So, you know, even though I got the big panoramic roof, I still want the track hog joint done. You know what I'm saying? So... I, I definitely got to do that. Oh, this is another scat right here, a slim body joint. With the sunroof on it. Scatty patty pack. That's a scatty patty pack. 2023, that's a 2023 scatty patty pack too. So, is it 2024's that's last calls or 2023's that's last call? I never forgot. I think it's 2023's that's last call. Oh, I see you in your bins, my boy. Got that 580. That's a nice. That's a definitely nice. Got the Durango. They definitely ain't got no Hellcat Durango's over here. Got the Hellcat Durango's, boy. Oh, my thing ain't barking. She barking? Oh, what's this? Oh, this is an SRT. I thought there was a track call. When I just glanced at it, it got the same hood, same bumper. Oh man, that's what I just noticed, y'all. Let me see what year these is, bro. Cause bro, that shit be getting on my nerve. Oh, it's a 17. So, bro, I'm not stupid. I'm not crazy. I thought the SRTs didn't come with this in the middle. Oh, y'all wrong for that. Y'all wrong for that. But I thought they didn't come with this. That was set the track hops apart from the SRTs was, was that, was the bumper. Which they bumpers do got the fog lights and these don't. But they got the radiators down there and they got to um, cool off the what you call. So that one got the big panoramic roof. Look just like a track hog, just got the red brimbos. I'm talking about the hood and everything the same. That's why I said I'd be having to make my stuff look more unique, bro. Because it's like Dodge tearing us up. They turn our mouth out. We go pay this type of money, and then a person with the SRT version is going to look at just the same. And the only thing they got to do is go fucking paint their calipers yellow. Because everybody debads them, so you ain't going to know the difference because they don't, don't say supercharged. And this will say supercharged, but when my supercharged gone, it's going to make me look like this one. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, damn, that's crazy. But it is what it is. Got the black interior and everything like mine. As y'all see. Let's see what the sticker say. 48,000 mile, engine 6.4, they want 53. Well, y'all get a better price than I did. <laughs> <clears throat> yep, y'all get a better price than I did. Mine newer than this one though. I ain't got less of miles. Less of miles and newer than that one. 
But um, yeah, man. I do kind of like them fog lights though at the bottom. I do kind of like the fog lights at the bottom of that. No kids out. But yeah, y'all let me know, man. I like that color scheme, that colorway. And uh, huh? Oh man, just out here looking. I was looking at the color scheme on this sketch. I got a Hellcat that color, but mine got the black hood, black top and everything. I was trying to see what it actually looked at like that, and then I saw this one over here. I come over here all the time. You probably see me come through in that big green ass truck. Oh yeah. In yeah. that Corvette, yeah, that green yeah. Corvette. Yeah. 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 I be I know, messing uh, with my guy Joe right yeah. there at the park. Yeah. I got I know uh Anthony. Uh, the one that does your your, uh, your details. Oh, Carter. Uh, Carter. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, you know that's my guy then. Yeah. yeah. Small world, huh? Yeah, yeah. For so for so. Well, see you right here on the camera, man. Let them know if they want to buy anyone. Hey. I've been over here going crazy talking about them. Yeah. So. Oh man, Carter Carey, you know the great. I mean, if you guys want to come see us, we'll take care of everybody. Yeah, yeah man. So. Classic Dodge. What's your name? Lucio Cortez. And you're right here at the pre-owned. Okay. Car manager. Oh, you you over here? Yep. You the manager over here. So not at the front. Yep. So yeah, you guys come around the back from Classic Dodge right here. This is the front building. Come around back and then y'all can see them up in there, man. At least you're right here. You know, yeah, you man. might as well take that free promo. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna leave back out this way though. All right. All right. Oh yeah, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. He know my dog Carter Care, man. Shout out to my dog Carter Care, man. Stop playing with him. Carter, you know him, my boy. You feel me? My boy Carter know him, man, out here in these streets, man. I told you you bigger than what you think, my boy. See, everybody think they little until somebody like me tell them they big, man. You know what I'm saying? You bigger than what you think you are. I'm gonna always tell my people that. Always bigger than what you think you are because For people to walk up and know who you is and you can go to any state You big bro. No matter if it's one person or two I mean people know you Y'all stay tuned man Another 300 bill on the way <laughs> Another 300 bill on the way. Don't even worry about it. Don't even trip. You feel me? Don't even trip. Yeah, they got everything up there. All the scats. TRXs, they got the stuff in the inside. That red one be almost looking like Dodge Demons to me. I know they ain't got the what you call the wide body flares and stuff on it. But um, yeah, man. They didn't even hit me up. I thought my guy name was in there. Let me see if my guy name was in here. Cause man, they said they were gonna call me uh when the when the first de one uh demon 170 came through here. And let me see if they up in there, man. If they are even open. They might be closed right now. But most of the time, eight o'clock, they don't be closed. Let me see. Let me see if they in here, man. They were so supposed to hit me up. And I was wondering, I was like, man, he did not hit me up. And I know one of them probably already came in because um, the guy from Earth, man, he be buying them all from here. They be messing with them too. Yeah, they closed now. Dang, son. I'm just so crazy, too. I love the challenges, but it's, it's just something about them chargers, bro. Everybody in the United States love chargers. I just don't know what it is. I like the challenges more, but to be all way 100, the Chargers really are more appealing to me now. That's why when I had my red eye, my Challenger red eye, wide body, I didn't get that feeling that I had in my Charger when I got it. 
And I was like, damn, man, I like the fucking Challenger better, but why I feel better in the Charger than I do a Challenger? I have no way of explaining the feeling, y'all. Like, no way of explaining it. Like, damn, it's so crazy how I feel better in the Chargers than I do the Challengers now. And it's like I like them more now. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's weird, y'all. It's something that I really can't explain. But it's just something that I... It's just a feeling, bro. Like, it's a feeling when you drive them cars, bro. It's like the challenges don't give me the same as the... What you call? As, as the charge. don't give me the same feeling. Dang, I actually went the wrong... Dang, gone way. But, um... Yeah, man. So, catch you guys in a little while, man. Peace. Several days later... All right, y'all, man. Your boy checking back in. It's uh, days and days and days after um, Thanksgiving. And I ain't going to lie to y'all, bro. Like, I really, I really, really been going through it. And all honesty, I've just been trying to spend time with my family and spend time, you know, with the people that's around rather than uh, filming videos, bro, because... I really, I really felt like I kind of lost myself, um, in a sense of a way. Um, you know, I've been going through stuff. You know, like, like what I tell people all the time, man. Anxiety and depression, all that shit is real. And I know I'm the person that I am, where I can, I can go out and I can record. Video. I can record two, three videos a day, man. But sometimes, man, you be going through so much stuff in your head, and your mental don't be right to where it makes you not even want to pick up the camera. And I be like, sometimes I be like, dang, I be wanting to vlog and want to go out there and just get the content, and my mind just be telling me no. It's like I be fighting demons in my head or something. Like I don't know what it be, man. But you know, I I. I just enjoy being around the people, you know, that I mess with, you know what I'm saying? Or my family, my family been up here with well, my mom been up here, um, you know, uh, since Wednesday. So, um, my wife's uh, family came up here and everything, uh, as well. So, you know, they're part of my family too, but you know, all the people from my family that came was, um, uh, my mom. So, and, um, uh, I just appreciate my whole support system that's behind me um, because, you know, everyone shows major, major love, you know, when it comes to me and where I, where I came to, where I've grown to and where I'm headed. So um, a lot of people respect me, man. And uh, it's good. It's good. I'm not going to lie, bro. Sometimes that what keep me going and it keep me on 10 toes man because it's letting me know that i can't give up no time soon i can't let up no time soon but you know i be i be trying not to give off forced content like yeah i got a lot of cars i ain't gonna lie to you yeah i got a lot of cars i got a lot of content i can make and stuff like that but um sometimes man you gotta focus on being with family sometimes man and not letting um me having to record a video you know determine if i'm gonna be happy or not <laughs> if that make any sense to y'all you know what i'm saying like i don't want me having to make a video to make myself feel good that i'm giving you guys content and not being selfish by just sitting back and getting my mental together you know but all in all bro i want to I want to start on my other old school. I'm gonna be all the way 100 with y'all, bro. And and I gotta, I, I can't sugarcoat this. I can't, I ain't, I, I, I just can't sugarcoat this. Um, My two cutlasses is some cars that gonna need a lot of money put in them. So this is what y'all have to understand. My focus is on my business, my brand. Uh, sh shit that's gonna potentially make me money and not just lose money and just have money sitting up. So my old schools that's in the garage, those are my cars. I pay cash for them. 
Uh, paid a lot of money for them. And I'm paying a lot of money for everything that I'm putting in them. So the thing is, for me, I don't like my money just sitting like that. That's just money that's just sitting. And you can't get it back. You know, if you sell it, yeah, but I'm not selling my shit. So that's the reason why I haven't started on now one of those vehicles. Yeah, I can do stuff here piece by piece just to get stuff going. You know what I'm saying? Just so it just won't be sitting. But the way Matt want to do it with, with my with my G-Body, he want to do a series on my channel building it. So he want me to have all the parts, everything fully before I bring the car to the shop. He told me I can get the motor and everything over there to uh, get started on the motor and everything. But it's like, I gotta come out of pocket at least 20, 20, probably about 20 grand, bro. Just to get all the parts and shit I need. Y'all gotta think about it. I stripped that car all the way down, you know? And um, and the reason I say 20 grand because it's gonna cost a good amount to get all the stuff for the car. Plus, I gotta pay for labor, bro. It's, it's, it's not nothing free. When I was doing it in my garage, all that labor was free. That was me. Which I feel like I can do it all. But I feel like me and Matt, we work as a team, y'all. Uh, shout out to my guy Matt at Allstate Transmission, man. He look out for me. He's not the cheapest, you know what I'm saying? But I done been through cheap and, and all cheap work ain't good work. But all expensive work ain't good work either. But he keeps it. You keep, he minimized stuff for me. He tell me what I'm going to need, what I don't need. But I know with that car, we're replacing every fucking thing on the car. So it's like, I can't go around, you know, he can save me stuff here and there on probably parts and stuff like that. But, you know, I got my own account with Summit. I got my own account with a lot of these parts uh, stores and dealerships and stuff like that. So I can get parts and save on that way too um, as well. But on the labor side, he has to run a business. Um, he got his guys, you know, that's real good. And, you know, you paying for the year's experience. That's really what you're paying for. And, bro, that's to finish that car up, maybe going to cost 30 to 40 grand to finish that car up um, the way I would want to do it. Because, you know, I got to do interior, I got to do the top over. Um, I already put a new windshield in it. I gotta see if I'm gonna need new glass for the um, for the doors and stuff like that from being scratched up. I don't want no scratched up windows. Um, weather stripping, um, audio. I'm talking about. I got bucket seats and stuff I already for them, so I gotta wire that type stuff up. I gotta go. I gotta do the LS swap stuff. I gotta rewire the whole car and the dash. You know what I'm saying? I got to get the, the, the factory dash fix from the cracks and everything. See if somebody can bring that back to life. Bro, it's it's a lot. Suspension, rear end. You know what I'm saying? I got the motor in trans. Yeah, but I still, <clears throat> I got to get the supercharger to put on top of it. But Matt, I already um, know where I'm going to get the supercharger uh, from. So he already know. Um, so we just going to grab the supercharger or whatever and slap it on that one. And um, I got to get bumpers re -chromed. like all that type stuff. I'm not going to, and I don't even know. Uh, I got to see if my guy can actually um, make my Euro front clip um, fit perfectly and properly. So it's, it's a lot, bro. It's a lot. Not saying I'm nervous or scared. And plus, y'all got to understand, my guy paint job started 12 thousand five hundred this is an old school so it only goes up from there you know what i'm saying um and that's why i won't paint my shit so um it's just you know that you know and they down here so you know i do say man shout out to my guy pc too because my guy pc he do want to paint one of my cars bro and i just got to figure out which one on um, what PC paint. But since I know Joe Nim will have my G body, I'm thinking about letting PC paint my 72 though. 
You know what I'm saying? It's just only right PC get one of my cars, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, I know he want to put his stamp on one, at least one of my cars, bro. He been trying to get me up there for a long time. You know, but PC be busy as fuck, too. You know, you got to come with that bread and that check. If you don't come correct, you ain't getting your shit in there. I'm telling you that right now. You not getting your car in there. And the thing is, with my 72, I got to put the LT4 in it. So, I'm going to have to put another wiring harness, all that type stuff. I'm not going to do all this extra stuff. I'm going to get my bottom uh, undercoated. I'm already, I got to do the floor pans over in it in a way because I got to cut the whole floor out to mount the motor and transmission in the car. So, we might as well go ahead and cut the whole floor out and replace the whole floor pan. Um, And other than that, you know, my rear end, I'm tubbing it. Um, I'm tubbing it, doing the rear end. Doing the gas lines, all that stuff over. Um, I'm doing a new convertible top on it. Brand new top. Cause on um, that top that's on there is um is is out of whack now. Since that that driver, what you call, he um put it on forward and so the wind was going through it when you're supposed to put convertibles on backwards. You're supposed to put them on the trailer backwards so they won't lift up like it did. So um yeah, that was on him. And um, other than that, you know, getting it painted and stuff, you know, and doing the audio, the interior and everything in there. Like all that stuff got to get touched, you know, and that's 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 one of the things because I'm going with I think I'm going with MTW billets um, on the on this colors, too, just because I just I just I just want that. I always looked at they wheels as the top wheels for like muscle car, them and uh, billet specialties. So, but I, I like the MTW billets a little bit more uh, than the than the billet specialty. It's just, I like the sharp lines and stuff like that. It's just crazy, like out, out of space type. You know what I'm saying? But um, good news, man. We got news on the charger wheels. So the charger wheels are um, at the finisher. So, um, the company is waiting on to get them back from the finisher so they can put them together and ship them out. And the finisher is the powder coater, the polisher and the powder coater people that uh, work work with them. So um, once that get done, um, they should be shipping out. Um, so down there took the four or six weeks down there. Well, it's probably gonna take more than that. I don't know, man. Hopefully I get my wheels either next week or um, this week coming up or next week after, hopefully, man. Um, cause that's what's stressing me out because that's where all my content is coming from, from my charger. I bought that car for content and man, it's like buying wheels, man. Custom wheels, bro. It always sets you behind. Y'all know me. I can't start on my bills until my wheels are in cause I need my colors to match up. I ain't with all that doing work before stuff get in and then stuff don't be matching. Nah, we ain't going out like that. So, um, yeah, it is what it is, man. But like I said, man, y'all let me know down in the comment section. Um, oh, oh, I think I, I think if push come to shove, God wanted to happen. I might got another three hundred bill coming for y'all soon. Don't take my word on it, but I'm just throwing it in the air. And y'all might got a 300 bill coming soon. You know what I'm saying? The guy really want to get rid of the car. I don't know if he got rid of it yet. But uh, next year, we'll see. If he still got it in January, um, I'm going to make him an offer on it. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we got to see. So, um... We're going to figure everything out, man. Y'all just be patient. Um, patience is the key to success. And, um, yeah, we definitely moving in the right direction. So, um, this week, I'm going to get on my grind. Uh, December, I might be back dropping every single day. If I miss a day, I miss a day. But I'm going to try to do vlogmas and try not to miss any day. Brother, I'm going to give y'all crazy videos. Everything ain't going to be by cars, but it will be. 
So y'all just stay tuned. You know, I got y'all. I'm gonna look out for y'all. I always every everything every December I usually don't miss a video. So um y'all bear with me. Um, but um yeah, my spirit is is slowly coming back, y'all. It's just I had to get through this little rough path, path, you know. Um, so yeah. So uh, stay focused, stay prayed up, stay grinding, stay dedicated to the grind, and we're gonna keep going up. Y'all already know it's your boy Real to Real. Hey man, say man, hey man, it's your boy man Real to Real. Hit that like button, that subscribe button, that share button. Go ahead, bust it down. No matter your light last year, man. Peace. Uh, she popped the sand, the bitch sleeping. My coat too fast, police didn't see me.